there is quality and over ambition causes tragedy well said by shakespeare tragic plays contain darker themes such as death disaster these plays convey all emotions and have a very dramatic conflicts let's see some squints from the tragic story of macbeth by the famous author william shakespeare by some of our students our admirable actors of school are all set for the play so let's invite them Macbeth is one of the classical plays written by William Shakespeare. This play shows how a brave and loyal commander Macbeth under the influence of evil witches becomes disloyal and over ambitious for power, position and fortune. Let's see how it happens and what it ultimately results into. Witches were hatching a conspiracy for making loyal men disloyal by tempting them for power and post fortune and spread it within the society. This time, Macbeth, a brave and loyal commander who was battling with the enemy in the battlefield for safeguarding his king and kingdom, was their prey. <laughs> Where should the three of us meet again? Will it be thunder, lightning, or rain? We will meet when the noise of the battle is over, when one side has won and the other has lost. That will happen before sunset. Where should we meet? Let's do it in the open field. We need Macbeth there. A drum, a drum, Macbeth has come. So and go, finally, we won the war. Hey, look at these creatures. They don't look like they belong to this planet. But I see them standing on the earth.
Hey creatures, do you belong to this planet? Speak if you can. What kind of creatures are you? <laughs> you are welcome. Soon you will be given the position of God. Welcome back. My pet is going to be the king of the spot in the future. If you can actually foresee the future, tell me something about me also. You are necessary in that way. You are also greater. You are mentally worth it now. In future, your son will become king. Oh, stop you languages! That cow that is breathing alive, how can I get his position? And for a commander like me, it's absolutely impossible to become a king. <laughs> Soon you will change the reality. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Let's fly away through the foggy and fill the air. Congratulations, Commander Macbeth. Now you have been appointed in the place of Cowder. Do you know what are you saying? Yes, with all my consciousness. Then what about Cowder? Cowder will be soon sentenced to death. And Commander, those are the words of King, not mine. Oh, it means that the forecasting of witches is absolutely true. Congratulations, the future King of Scotland. Malcolm and King are sitting side by side and suddenly Macbeth and Rose enter. Welcome my brave commanders. Really, whatever honor I give you is not enough. It was our duty my lord. Macbeth, really, I am very happy today. Let's celebrate this happiness at your palace. As you like my lord. But please let me go now so that I can prepare for your welcome. Yes, brave Macbeth, you can go now. Lady Macbeth is busy in painting at her palace while a messenger arrived. Mistress, this is the letter from Master Macbeth. Let me read what he has written. Some witches have forecasted that soon I will be the king of the Scotland and as per the forecast of the witches, I have been appointed in the place of Cowder. Your Highness, tonight the king is coming here. What? Perhaps your brain is not working well. Immediately after messenger goes, victorious Macbeth, after his encounter with witches, reached to Duncan's palace and then meets his mistress, Lady Macbeth, who was very over ambitious and scheming. Oh my dear lord, you are welcome back home with your great achievements. I am looking forward to a golden opportunity. Oh my love, the King Duncan is coming to our palace tonight. He will return tomorrow morning. Poor king will never see the next sun. Because as long as the king is alive, you can't be the king. And king? But how? Then you have to see. Greet the king with a welcoming expression. You should look like an innocent flower, but be like a snake that hides underneath the flower. The king is coming and he will be taken care of. Let me handle tonight's preparations. Tonight will change every night and every day for the rest of our lives. Oh, welcome my lord, the King of Scotland. Thank you, Lady Macbeth. I am warm with your welcome. But where is Brew Macbeth? Don't worry, my lord. Soon he will be in your service. Meanwhile, you dine and rest for some time. Oh, why not? Thus, King sleeps in Macbeth's palace in a chamber. That time, Macbeth sneaks into the chamber and murders the king with his dagger. I am the King of Scotland. Oh, these blots of blood. I don't know will the water of whole Pacific Ocean be enough to wash them or not. I am restless. Somebody wash this King's blood. 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 Somebody 
call the doctor for the queen. My lord, both the sons of the king and Macduff have run away. I heard that they are in the shelter of the king of Ireland. I have killed Macduff's wife and son, but what about Banquo and his son? We are searching for them, my lord. His son must be killed. The witches have also predicted that Banquo's son will be the next king of Scotland. My lord, I am awfully afraid to pronounce the words that the Queen Macbeth died of madness. Oh, don't say that. It can't be true. Oh, my lady, now how will I live without you? My lady, my love. My lord, be alert. Prince Maclom, along with Macduff, Rose, Simon, and others, supported by the King of Ireland, has attacked us. I feel they are knowingly not knowing that Macbeth never loses any battle. Our forces are ready. Open the door and let me see if any one of them can dare to attend this Macbeth. The door opens and war starts. It made him disloyal, superstitious, cruel, and excessively ambitious. This is the tragedy of an excessive ambition. <laughs> 